welcome to Sheena Power Talk Youth Link, where our redeemed, revived, and transformed guests get real and empowering the youth. I'm your host, Sheena Lynn Hansen, and I'm so, so happy to be here with you today. God is doing something extraordinary and i wouldn't even just say extraordinary but god is doing something major and you can be a part of what god is doing so today i have with me a beautiful woman of god i don't know her story yet but something tells me it's going to be awesome so today i have the beautiful minister yvette francis with me and stay tuned because we'll be right back sheena power and I take over territory We are break some curses lyrically We are shake some kingdom literally Now nah, show Satan no sympathy Young people make we grow spiritually Stop war with the neighbor physically Draw for the holy bible daily Humble a God feet like baby Tired for see family in a cemetery Youths them need guidance mentally Stop abuse young girls sexually We need Yeshua in a the industry See it and I try rally why your destiny Young girl, keep your identity Welcome, woman of God. How are you? How are you? Before I say anything, you look so pretty, you look so radiant, you look so blessed. How are you? you? I'm good, okay, I'm blessed. Amen. Yeah. Um, I want you to look into the camera and tell us five significant things about yourself. Five significant things about myself. Well, I'm Yvette, and that's the way I am, a person that you come close to me to really know mm -hmm. the type of person that I am. I'm loving, mm -hmm. I'm kind, I'm a person who will really love God, mm -hmm. yeah, spend most of my time praying, mm -hmm. so that's it about Yvette. Mm -hmm. Nice, nice, spend most of her time praying. Yvette, what is your favorite scripture and what it means to you? My favorite scripture is Psalms 35. Mm -hmm. Plead my cause, O Lord, with them that strive with me. Fight, fight against, against those that fight against me. Mm -hmm. That is my scripture. As a child growing up, mm -hmm. um, that's one of the scripture my mother used to recite. Right. So um, growing up, I, I always recite that scripture. And... Uh, after a while, I get to love it. Yes. Knowing that is a powerful scripture, scripture. One of the most powerful scripture in the Bible. Yes. Is mm. Psalms 35. Mm -hmm. Plead my cause, O Lord, with them that strive with me. But fight. Woman of God, what say? Fight, fight against them that fight, fight against, against me. me. Mighty God, I love that scripture. But also love yes. it, love it, love it. Yes. But woman of God, I know you have a story. But I want to know who was Yvette before Minister Yvette Francis? Well, Yvette before wasn't a normal person. Mm -hmm. She, 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 she was she was humbled, but of um, uh, what I would say, um, a different personality inside. Mm -hmm. Getting Yvette out, you wouldn't like it. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, so Yvette, because so like Yvette was a bad girl. Yvette was not a normal person. Mm -hmm. Well, um, I wouldn't say to to everybody. Yeah. The person that mess deeply with Yvette, yes. then they would really see who Yvette truly is. Yes. But I'm really a quiet person, yes. a fun-loving person, so yes. you wouldn't know that I have that anger inside or really mm -hmm. terrible. So um, I used to be a dance person, mm -hmm. yeah? I used to be a smoking person, mm -hmm. yeah? I used to be mm, them hot girl person where really out there in the nice street, you know. Yes. So if it was that type of person. So where is if it from? Well if it is from Spanish town. Yes. Thais, I grew up in Thai Spain. Okay, and, and everything. So before, so after you know all the party and all of the things, you have become saved. What got you to that level? What got you to that? Um in nineteen ninety seven uh, before I get to that, um, I live in with my, my, my partner, yes. Michael Francis. Yeah, um, we, we grew up in the same community mm -hmm. and we, 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 we are neighbors. Yes. And some, some all along the line, me and Michael, we get together. Right. Yeah. Um, we wasn't friends, but 
we wasn't person we used to talk a lot either. But somehow we get together and me and Michael live together in a small one room bedroom. Mm -hmm. And it wasn't easy. Mm -hmm. We would fight, we would quarrel. Mm -hmm. There wouldn't be a peaceful day with mm -hmm. me and Michael. Mm -hmm. And we live together, we fight, argue, cuss, and it was terrible. Right. We had a daughter, Felicia, and she, when she was small, we would fight in front of her. Mm -hmm. Sometime, I remember one point in time when we, when we was there fighting and school over and she was there alone at school. We fight till we forget nobody remembers to go, to go for her at school. Mm -hmm. And when we remember it was about five o'clock when we reached school for her. So it affected her growing up, mm -hmm. seeing her parents in that situation. Right. So sometime in 1997, mm -hmm. um, I have an auntie in England, so she um, said she wanted to help my smaller sister, but my smaller sister was pregnant at the time. Mm -hmm. But her desire was to help me to get me away from Michael. Yes. And because the way that Michael treated me, the family did not love him at that time mm -hmm. because the treatment wasn't right. And me treat him bad, him treat me bad. Yeah. And we treat each other bad. Mm -hmm. But he was a person that loved to lick. Yeah. So once him lit, that's where the fight started. Mm -hmm. um, in 1997, now auntie decided that she's going to take me to England. Yeah. My sister can't go, so I was glad and didn't have a foreign mind. I went to England. Mm -hmm. And I'm telling you, guys, be sure you all me, all me stay. Love this man. Mm -hmm. After we bear Jamaica, we fight so much, you know, no one expected that. Yvette would send for Michael. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And after I got to England, the 26th of October, 1997. Mm -hmm. In 1998, the 26th of October, I sent for Michael. Yes. It was exactly one year. Um, I went uh, in a partner with my auntie and she gave me the money to go to college and I had the money. Mm -hmm. And I buy a ticket and I sent for Michael. Mm -hmm. It didn't end there. We, we, when Michael come to England, that's where everything started. So the abuse we started, continued. The abuse continued. I remember um, I put him in the hospital, several stab. Mm -hmm. We had a quarrel and he was outside. I didn't know that he was coming on a taxi. And he took a taxi man to pack up some things because I want to run away from him. Yeah. And when, when the taxi man, I said, wait for me outside. So when I didn't close the door, the front door. Mm -hmm. So when I hear the door push me, I said, me not tell us, I may I come on. But when I realized it was Michael and he didn't hesitate, him just start hitting me. Yeah. And one thump, the years didn't fly out and me run because it was a passageway lead down to the kitchen. Mm -hmm. And I run down there and... You know that me pack the plate away, but somehow the knife they leave in the plate tray. Mm -hmm. But my eyes was closed because it was eating me, so I bend my head and mm -hmm. take up the knife. Didn't know if a knife or a fork or a spoon, but I start to stab. Mm -hmm. And that time you were angry. Yeah, and I start to stab him. And when I was to give him the last stab, that would stab would kill him, the doctor said. Um, I heard him say, Babes, you know, see, you're gonna kill me. And that's when I realized it was like a dark cloud overshadowed me. I didn't know what I was doing. And uh, um, I woke up the knife same way, and then I put down the knife and started to cry. And blood was washing the place. And I take him up and I call one of my friends and I say, Just about my call, you know. And, he looked like him soon did and she start crying and she called and when V could come with all of them and them take him to my hospital. Nobody no said up to me, they just leave me alone in my house and take him to the hospital. So me reach to the hospital. When me reach to the hospital now, um police was there, so me disguised myself and 
let them be with the family members and so forth. Right. And they fix him up and so forth and send him back home. But he must have an internal, internal bleeding, yeah. which I didn't know. He didn't and know either? He didn't know. And they didn't know? No. Okay. And we was there on the Saturday. He started to feel bad and sweat. He said, I feel bad. And I said, I right, keep on and make tea, give him and so forth. And then this Sunday now, he's still a complain. And then now, we start the morning, me, him say I go shower and then me not hear nothing when I bathroom and me so weird. I not hear nothing but me say me, me go look and when we go towards the bathroom now, it was a bathtub, white bathtub and me see him lay down in there and me say, no, him not moving or nothing. So me start crying now and me call a cab and the cabman come and rush to him to, to with him to um, Omerton Hospital and when you reach the hospital, emergency, and them come and the doctor, them rush in with him and they say, instant, them have to go um, do an operation on him. Mm -hmm. When the, 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 the surgeon come now and said to me, say, make sure me eat something because we're not going to take him to the theater, we're going to operate on him right here in a big room, a lot of light and so. Yeah. So then, String him up and everything, and me sit right on bedside and hold him on. And I was there watching the surgeon operate on him, pushing a tube and to support the blood and so forth. Mm. And then start to ask me what happened to me. I start to tell him, and wish I would did like me, I tell him, not never go so when me, I tell him, mm -hmm. but um, him listen and him do what him have to do. Mm -hmm. So he was in the hospital about two weeks mm -hmm. before him come out. Lose a lot of blood, lose weight and everything. And then now we go back to the same life. Mm -hmm. it, nothing never changed. Same abuse. The same abuse. Same abuse. Nothing never changed. But you guys loved each other. But we love each other. At least so you guys thought. Yeah. And we love each other so we're not leaving each other. Mm. I cry, I tell him, I said, I'm going to leave him because I nearly kill you. And he said, I'm not going to leave. So me and him did it. Mm. We would cuss the same way and I would tell him word and so and he would lick me and we fight. Mm -hmm. In 2000, um, he was working. But I lose my work because he was working at the same place. Um, mm -hmm. the, the, the boss lady liked him. Mm -hmm. And I get to realize that so I start get jealous and I start make fuss. Mm -hmm. So some one day you now she come in and me and her start quarrel and me back a knife and I say, me don't want to kill you, so I go leave your workplace. Mm -hmm. And I tell you, Minister Sheena, mm -hmm. I'll leave and Michael was still there and I said to Michael, say, you have to leave, you know. And he said, oh, I'm going to leave and no, no, we're not working. Mm -hmm. I said, yeah, I have to leave because I see you coming home late and I don't like where you're going. Mm -hmm. So he was still there. So one day, you know, I called my sister and I said to my sister, say, where are you then? She said, I'm at work and I said, I'm going to pick you up. I go to Michael's workplace, I go to him. Mm -hmm. And my sister said, yeah, I go to him. And I said, yes, I go to him. Because I don't want the woman to take him away. So me, um, I was there and wait and my sister and we meet together and we go out there. While we reached there, the place was so quiet because it was two restaurants. Me work at one, him work at the next one. Mm -hmm. So... When we reach here, right here, the place quiet and my sister said, um, may I go press the bell and cause a bell there where, where you press, mm -hmm. then come out from behind. Mm -hmm. So may I go press the bell and she said, don't press the bell. Go on around it, I place quiet. Go see if nobody around it. And I said, no man, may I press the bell, man. I just go around this up. Mm -hmm. And somehow something said to me, say, go around then no press, press the bell. The bell. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I press the bell, and when I press the bell, it was Michael that come round with him zipper pulled down. Yeah. And him surprised and frightened when he see me. So I said, I come for you, and 
when we said that no, we see the lady come around. She was frightened as well. And we discovered say, something was going on. And I mm. said to him, say, all right, come. Mm. I don't go make no fuss, just come. Mm -hmm. And him start hold on for me and explain. And she start explaining, say, them ain't doing nothing. So I said, all right. I don't care what I did want to. I just want to say, I come for you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I tell the minister, we go home. Mm -hmm. And I call her and I say, I'm going to come to him for a weekend. And she said, yes. After the weekend now, when I go there for the pay, she said, send Michael come, come in and deal with you, give you the money. I say, yeah. Michael, you don't say, I said, go on to her. Michael go out there and he said, Michael, for come around. Me everyone they know me can't see Michael I come around. So me say, I don't want to go in at this man's place, you know. So mm -hmm. me wait for him out there. Mm -hmm. So me say, when I go in there, so go tell Michael, say, me wait for him outside. Mm -hmm. um, Michael say, he's not getting money. So me say, well, you're not getting money and I eat you going there far. If you come on next day. So me say, all right, then you know what? Leave the money. Don't go back. Just leave the money. Leave her with the money. Mm -hmm. And Michael leave her with the money. Mm -hmm. So I had a friend and a friend get a work for Michael and he was doing a nine to five job. It wasn't big and mm -hmm. we was struggling and but the guy that we, we rent the place from is him, him was my close friend and him allowed me to owe him till whenever I get back a job. Mm -hmm. Things start get worse. With the relationship? With the, the, the situation, we're not working mm. and everything. And you know, during those times, we're not fight because we have stress, so we not have no time to fight. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and we was there and, and, and my, him say, I have a friend and him, I go check a friend and him go on and come back and him say, the guy said, I must go and check him. So when my boy guy said to me, say, you want to, um, you want to do some things. So me, I say, do what? I say, let me tell you the truth, you know. Mm -hmm. Um, our drugs. And me say, no. No, 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 no. Because you knew the consequences. No, 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 no. Me, me say, no, mm -mm. Not that. No, we rather stay here and suffer. And I didn't know if he did say to Michael and Michael did want me if he can't front the situation because he didn't work it. Anyway, I go home now, things start get worse. They look at my little friend now and say, if you have to go do something, you know, for me, I wait long now for my money. Mm -hmm. I said, I don't know what do. I call back him and I say, listen to me. I go, I go sell the drugs, you know. I don't have no choice. I go sell it. And he said, if you come with it. First, I see this thing. When we go now, I stand take it something. When we take it, me and just start to shake so with it. Mm -hmm. So me I say, do all about this here, man. Yeah, you're <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. So me hold it up, me and me and start shake. So if me and start shake, I'm going start angry the right way yet. Mm -hmm. And I take it and I go on. And I call one of my cousins and I say to her, say, I don't know why not. Somebody give me something and may I say it to her and she said, Yeah, you try man and go do it, man. Say if it will work and I say, okay, then I call back him and I say, tell me how to deal with it and him tell me. And I deal with it and me go up on the road. When I go up on the road no and out there, minister, I don't know where if you do come me all alone out there. So I start make friend now with people and I make friend with this guy and start sit beside him and him start telling me what he do and him start showing me people what he go to and, mm -hmm. and so forth. I was there till each evening now when Michael leave work, mm -hmm. him start to come wait for me. Mm -hmm. And I say, listen me, I don't like how you come and wait for me, you know, as if you are watch me, you know, and I say, nah, watch me, but he feel lonely at home and he don't feel good me out here and him the woman me say. But it two we can out here so I'm more time we we'll go around a restaurant with we, him friendly and him go hang out. Mm. Until one time him said to me, say, give me give me um two of them now me go try and me say, No, you're mad. 
Yeah. He told we can't go to prison one time, man. Anyway, the next night, now him come, him, him tea for take out two. Mm -hmm. And when him out there now, me never check his up and me just have them and mm -hmm. me find out say him take out two. And him sell it and come back on tell me say, yeah man, he sell it and he go on good man. Mm -hmm. So him start with me as well and both of us did it till 2002 was the big hit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When 2000, the year 2000, one night, it was a night to remember. Mm -hmm. We was in the pub, because we hang out in our pub. Mm -hmm. And I have my bag full of money, because I turned top shatter now, as where the mother call it now, you know. Yes. Yeah, top shatter girl now, and Michael now, top shatter what the people know where we start deal with big things now, phone start call and we up them now and have with money and rare rare. So in night now me have a portion of money for me. Mm. Um Michael have some money I owe and we never did get to send half the money because we always do that on weekend. Yeah. Um when the night me sit down now and me add a plate of food, but somehow me couldn't eat the food and me said to the lady, say pack it up in our box. Yeah. I just feel like me feel leave now, but can't find Michael and me. I so which part Michael there? Can I feel like me feel leave there? So you know, you know. Yeah. Didn't know that Michael did in the, the bathroom. Yeah. So me sit down there now and wait for him to see him turn up. And you're clear shy. And by the by time me hear this explosion, me I see some man in a black suit, helmet, crash helmet, something upon their foot. I'll start a something light, a flash. Me say, me I say, me sit down and me I say, what is a police? And me sit down and then come over to me and say, me have a right to remain silent or anything. When me say, can be used against me and them start to question me and support and me answer. And some holy G park up out there, the media. And when them say, all right, them are going to carry away away now. That's the time when me see Michael when them arrest him too. You mm -hmm. understand? And me I say, watch ya. Then this a man, I make them hold him too. <laughs> yeah. Because me think, say, I'm alone now, you know. When me look, me see man, I do so. So me I say, watch ya. Then this a idiot, I make them hold him too. Yeah. So, um. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> so. Me do you know in I in I in I in I in I in I big something with them put we in I know now you know and me see them are come towards it so me say them better not carry me now. Yeah, cause you upset. Yeah, cause me upset. Yeah. Me say them better not carry me now. So somehow me see man turn back with him now like me so they hear me <laughs> and then turn back with him man. I mean I not see him back. And me went to the station and. I was upset and I was crying and going with all sorts of something. And then no, me hear Michael and say, Wifey! So I said, here I am there so too. So I did answer him. And I said, oh, my wife, I know you over there. And I love you here. I said, I hate you. Yeah. And, we, we, <laughs> and anyway, I calm down and then take me out and go do the photo and all sorts of something. And then carry me mm. away. And we spent two years in prison. Get four years and the two years in prison. Mm -hmm. And we spent the two years in prison and we come out. Mm -hmm. But while I was in prison, mm -hmm. it wasn't easy. Mm -hmm. It was a prison full of paid Jamaican. Mm -hmm. And, Minister, <laughs> may I tell you, it was a lot of. Um, Lesbian, um, you know, it's going a woman prison, mm -hmm. you know, but somehow they respect me, right? They respected me, and I would cook for them. And we, we um, go to church on Sunday, mm -hmm. um, till I give my life to God, right? In yeah, prison, in prison, mm -hmm. um, I start go church and didn't baptize me, tell them, so me just have to repent and live. I'm not baptized. Yeah. So, I think, say, you know, 
I say, all right, I repent. I don't want no baptism till when I come out. I say, God, I go serve you when I come out. Mm -hmm. Just bear with me. And my Indian start to link with one lady, but she was a one mother woman. Mm -hmm. And she get old and she in there. So I start link with her. But so she get old for mother ring? Like drugs, drugs, yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then we said, oh, 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 she a mother woman, man get old. So she couldn't save herself. Huh? <laughs> right. And we, we, mm -hmm. we start to spar with her. And, but somehow she, she, she her thing, they make her do them where she want. So I'm looking funny something way. She has a set up um, some something. Oh, so she bring some, the, 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 the lifestyle. Yeah, she bring the, 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 the party. The, the something where they set up. The, no, what? no, what with them car? The yeah, altar. Fear, altar, fear, altar. altar. So she has you know, set up the altar. So it's one, no, me say, all right, give me where you set up the altar, no? She give me a cup and she threw some fruit juice in there, some ribbon or something. And she give me two apple and she give me two grapefruit and something, and me put them in the place. Me I tell her, say, Minister, me no PA sitting on mine, you know. One day, like a man say, look in I cup. the woman She na power talk. Hey, Power Gang, remember to get your book on Amazon today, today, today. No other day, but today you can get it in Kindle form and you can get it in paperback form. And if you are in Jamaica and you want a copy of this amazing book, The Crown and the Cross, listen to me. Call me at 1-876-429-6004. Listen, Power Gang, you must have one of these books. Come on now, Crown and the Cross. So, woman of God, you don't pay the altar, no man, oh no, Lord. I don't pay the oh, altar, no man. So, one cup. day, no, me looking at the cup. When me looking at the cup, I dry cup, me I see. Me don't see nothing in the cup. Mm -hmm. So, me say, but God Almighty, then I will drink out this way in the cup. So, me I say, no, man, something not right. So, put the cup, they full right up. Me no drink it. <laughs> so, me I say, so me go down see and me say to my friend, call in, me say, call in. You come up in my room, she said. Yeah, I want. I said, yeah, yeah, yeah. Drink, sit not. I don't drink nothing. So I said, no, man, I'm not calling through that. Tell me. But somehow, oh, I go back to her and I said to, to her, I said, um, I go back and I don't see nothing in my cup here. No? <laughs> Angel drinky. So I said, so I said, Angel? I said, what do you mean by? Angel, me say angel of God. She say yeah, angel of God. So me say, so when angel of God I come in my room, I mean no know. <laughs> so me say them 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 a come in my room, I mean no know till them drink out by an eye cup. <laughs> so me care about keep up take down everything off I something. I'm care them back go gear. Me say no man. Cause if angel a come in my room, me supposed to can't see them or them a go dream me or. <laughs> Them, me I go something, them I go say to me, me, me no say angel a come in there. Yeah. So one night now, me, me, me lay down and me, and me hear this do doom 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 doom. So me I say, wait, what is going on? I say, what is going I say, no. So me, me, ah, me no pay it no mind and me go see. So me wake up, me say to her, I say, me I want funny son in my room last night. She say, angel come visit your man. Me say, I said to me turn to Colleen and I said to Colleen, say, Colleen, I go stop sparring with the woman there, you know. Yeah. Because things are get serious now. In a prison. Yeah, things are get serious in here now. So I go stay away far from her. So I start stay away far from her and me have a friend near Muffet and she and Muffet and she, she not talk to me. She start get eat me now still she start to tell her life on me or something. Mm -hmm. So somehow now. God made them ship her out to a out of prison. Mm -hmm. And when they ship her out now, me start, me start, me, me alone start go church and because me draw away from Muffet because me say Muffet have the spirit the way woman have in her. So me not go near Muffet neither. Mm -hmm. So me start draw away from Muffet now and me start say to myself and go to church and me start go do 
buy me, me join fi do a bible course and so forth and me start go a bible class and so forth and stay away from from Muffet. Mm. And me yeah. go church. One one Pentecostal lady come in there, she start keep service. So me start get serious in her Christ now. Mm. And um I do my thing. Mm -hmm. When I realize now Muffet come back in to me and I say, all right, I go talk to her and something. I say, Muffet, I know in Adam something there. When I see um, when I see a lady a teacher for do, mm -hmm. so a straight church we are going to do. So if you now come make we serve God, stay away. Yeah. So she say, all right, we are going to be friends and we are going. Me start take it serious. Remember, I know minister me did promise God, you know. Yeah. Me promise God. So when me come out of prison, me are going to serve him right and proper way. Mm -hmm. Me spend two years in a prison. Right, mm. come out. Me and me, me and my fiance come out the same back the same day. Mm -hmm. And we come out of prison. When we come out of prison, now me forgot totally what I said to God. Mm -hmm. Me I tell you, whenever you make a promise to God, come on, serious. talk to them, woman of God. Whenever you make a promise to God, you forget, but God not forget. Mm. I start smoking biggest ganja spliff. Mm. I start to gamble. I carry hot clothes the moment it put where I say so I go give me fine back my body in you know, them. I start to bleach back again and go on with myself. I open a shop. And one day I tell you, say, me take sick. I take sick. I'm sick. Sick you know. And more time me have to lock down the shop because the sickness take me. Michael at work mm. and I me have to run the shop. Mm. And the sickness start come up on me now. I go doctor, doctor say me pregnant. Yeah. When I go doctor now, I mm -hmm. start visit doctor. He might give me maternal. Mm -hmm. So any name? Maternal. Mm -hmm. And me I take it. Mm -hmm. I start to get sick more. Mm -hmm. It barely grew. But some of me say, but no. Then if the doctor say, me four months, me three months pregnant, then oh, the baby start to move already. Mm -hmm. So I start to feel something moving in my belly. So I say, no, man. Then oh, the baby start to move already. So the baby start to move now. Each, but he moved mostly night. Strong, strong, strong. And he start to get sick more and more. Mm -hmm. But some of my family, they, nobody not really to a pay me no mind, you know. Uncle, my sister, with me and her close. Mm -hmm. And she has said, if you go back to this doctor, I go back to one doctor and he say the same thing, say me pregnant. When I come home now, I sick, but every night a spirit come lay down beside me. Oh, I yeah, feel no. when I come from the bed. Mm -hmm. Every night because Michael work at night. Yeah. So Michael no did it at night. Yeah? Mm -hmm. So every night he come right beside me. Mm -hmm. Sometimes he come in the farm and Michael having sex with me. Mm -hmm. You understand? The, the, the belly has grown now and mm -hmm. the baby has moved. Minister, one night me just collapse, mm -hmm. drop down. Mm -hmm. Couldn't go no more. Right. And me have a friend, him say, I'm going to carry me at this Obia woman. Anyway, you know, me and the I, 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 woman, the woman catch up one fire. Mm -hmm. Say, sit down, open up. Fire burn day. Oh, Jesus. Say fire burn all fire. Uh, me twigs your foot. <laughs> me twigs my foot. <laughs> me twigs my foot. The fire catch up, you know. You just imagine, you know. Yeah. Swing jaff, wave for swing jaff and start up. Oh, you sure you're all wicked. Them wicked yeah. wobbler people. Yeah. Them wicked wobbler people there. Me I tell you. Swing jaff, scratch up down there, you know. I'm... Me, me wicked too, you know. 
Ka mi a Filipi and an an a a mi a say make him make him catch up if fire the man he 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 boy come back there. So make him fire catch up there. So me see them make things a scratch up. When me go back in night, me still feel it up it come. And plus a scratch up. And plus me scratch up. So me a say then God then him a then him him a he up it now. So he me a say to he up it say you na come mess with me tonight, you know. You know, come mess with me tonight. And and me in there talk to you up here and I say, listen my man. You know, come down here so tonight, down here so start up. <laughs> and I wake up in the morning and I say, me feel for some chicken food because when spirit the fire, you want special things. Pure white rice meat. Mm -hmm. Me drink lemonade. Mm -hmm. me, 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 me start eat. So I look strange something where normally me uno eat. And but chicken foot was one of my favorite. And me a cookie chicken foot tonight and me drop down. My family them say, me just drop down and lock off and my kids them have cry and you know but me have a brother we give him we 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 him is an elder now. Yes. Him and him wife did save. Yes. And yes. them say them hear a ball in and something and run come run. And as so comes them say them start to pray. My, my kids them say, them them tell me I say, Mommy, we we all who don't know if you pray start to pray. Mm -hmm. And everybody start to pray. Kids them start to pray. Them say everybody start to pray mm -hmm. till them say me come back to. Mm -hmm. And me come back to and me have a sister now. She take me to this church. Mm -hmm. I want to tell you, Bishop Marison has passed away now. May his soul Oh, that's the one at Spanish Town. Yeah. I love that man in a man. And I went to Bishop Marison. Um, he did have an outside crusade and I went there. Mm -hmm. was working at the church at the time and then put a tent outside. And so one question, after you came back from prison, you came back to Jamaica? I came back to Jamaica. Start to smoke, start to gamble. Oh, so it was a deportation? When, yes, it was a deportation. Oh. I get deported. Okay. And we come back. Come back with my money, start live up my life and, you mm -hmm. know? Okay. Yeah. Because they didn't take away all my money. That when I sent a Jamaica, they didn't make a call. So, yeah. I come back to it. My sister saved it and yeah. opened a shop and that's when I fell sick. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then somehow somebody you know, tried something. Yeah. But God was on the job. Mm -hmm. When I went to Bishop Marison mm -hmm. and sitting there, I never knew myself. I was like a mad person. Mm -hmm. No, know myself, minister. Mm -hmm. um, sit there and him called me out and say to me, say, you think you have a baby in your belly? Mm -hmm. And I'm a baby. But I'm going to make you pass it out. Mm -hmm. And I said to one evangelist, say, take me around her back on night her with the olive oil and bring her back to me. Mm -hmm. And bring me back to and him pray for me. And mm -hmm. he said, when you go home, you go see all where you pass out. From me reach inside, minister, mm -hmm. I start vomit out some something. Jesus. I start vomit out some something black. Black. I can't take it, it look like the bag. And <laughs> me vomit out so something like worm. It was terrible. Mm -hmm. A lot of things me pass out. I can't explain if I tell you. It was terrible. I would remember I go to the toilet and when me go and me pass out. I don't know, I see some something in it and move around, but me, somehow I flush it fast. I mean, if I did want to see, yeah. we're really down there, I um, move up. Yeah. And I pass out everything, the belly come back down normal, mm -hmm. and I come back normal. And that's when I give my life to God. My God. Pastor Marison. Yes. And I was there serving God. I've been there for 13 years. Yes. And God used me in a mightily way in the community mm -hmm. to witness to people and 
you know? Yes. Some of my family, them who never saved, get saved. My sister get saved, mm -hmm. you know, till now. All of my sister, them get saved, mm -hmm. you know? And so you fulfill God's promise? Yeah, come back from foreign, but me never did do it, do it same time. Mm -hmm. But let me tell you something. As I said before, yes. whenever you made a promise to God, mm -hmm. fulfill that promise. Yes. Because I was sick and to death. Mm -hmm. um, I remember a lady from, from Lighthouse here. Um, I went down to Kingdom Builder Open Bible because that's where my family was going yeah. at the time. And she ministered to me. She said, run for your life. If you don't run for your life, you are going dead. Before I give my life to God. Yeah. And me didn't take it, the woman serious. Mm -hmm. And when the sickness come upon me next to death, that's when me give my life to God. So me I encourage somebody, don't wait till when you come are going dead then. That's the time mm -hmm. when you make a promise to God, fulfill the promise there because you forget, but God not forget. Yes. Yeah, but, and mm -hmm. that's when this Lord start to use me mightily. In your community. Mightily in my community. Mm, nice. Yeah, and even I have a friend and she give her life to the Lord. Mm -hmm. We used to walk and sell together. And we said to her, say, listen me. Um, she did a live with the guy and them never married and I said to her, say, listen to me, I want you to do something for me when you go home. Mm -hmm. Tell the man, say, you want, you want him married to you. And she said, no, I can't do that. I said to her, say, listen to me, do it. I say, you remember a story with your mother, what took place with your mother while living with the man? And she said, yes. And I said, all right, if you don't do that, that I'm going to reach you. And she go home and she do it and she married and she give her life to the Lord. Mm -hmm. God start to use her mightily as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And she um me and her start to work in our community. Mm -hmm. Mightily in our community. Mm -hmm. A minister and so much things I remember. Me chase demons. Let me tell you something. If it's like demons run as them see me, it's mm -hmm. like sometimes sh so me see see something you, yeah, pass empower you. and empower me mm -hmm. mightily. Mm -hmm. I remember people would just come and call me if demons in a them house. Mm -hmm. Them, you hear them, I say, go call me, see it. When go call me Sivet. And I remember me have this neighbor and she say, this spirit in our house. And I remember them come for me and I said, I stop and say, I consecrate myself and something. Me go call me sister and I will go over there. And by the time I reach to the gate, mm -hmm. I rush in and, and I was start running down the demons, run and run. Round and round the house. Mm -hmm. I could remember we get out the demons. Mm -hmm. And I tell you, when me look minister, mm -hmm. me see the demons turn a pato. Mm -hmm. And I could see him up in a tree. Mm -hmm. And I met this funny son. I look over there, mm -hmm. over my neighbor house. Mm -hmm. And I said to him, say, I hope they say you're 50. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, God was using me mightily in the community. Mm -hmm. See a lot of um, persons, you understand, minister to. Mm -hmm. You understand, even though a lot of them really hard heartedly, they not give them life to the yeah, Lord. But, but, you do what, but I do what God said to do. Amen. Glory to God. But let me tell you something. Mm -hmm. Somehow along the line, um, I don't know really what happened, but I was going to pass some mercy church, but God was speaking to me and said, Imago, make me leave pass some mercy church. 
wish me go pan fasting because I love that church. Mm -hmm. I love, I love Pastor Marison, mm -hmm. which pa Pastor we know, and I never have no problem with no one there. Mm -hmm. But God was speaking to me and said, I'm going to make me live there. Mm -hmm. um, Kingdom Builder was building a branch right at the corner of Wellington Street. It's a local church, but it's... The, them outreach ministry way. Is it the one yeah. that Rivali said? This was? Yeah, yeah, and they have a little branch right at, um, right beside Morgan's. Oh, okay. General home. Yeah, and they're fixing it up, and each time I pass, cause I walk, they go to church, you know, down by Pastor Marison. And the Lord will say, Yeah, go worship here, so you know. I say, Worship here, so. so you were in transition? Yeah, mm -hmm. and uh, being going in transition is not easy. Mm -hmm. And me start to speak to God and me, I was, me I said to God, say, no, me can't leave Pastor Marissa Church. Me can't leave the church there. Because the the man they see right through me. Each time is like him know when me need the power for God use him for him and for me and something. I say, no, me can't me can't do no transition now, God, but some hour after leave. Mm -hmm. When I leave there, you know, Pastor Marissa Church was a church where mm -hmm. um, the natural ear, they don't wear. Mm -hmm. Father's ear, they don't. The jewels, they don't um, wear certain type of clothes like pants and so forth. Mm -hmm. But um, start going to kingdom builders now. They allow you to fix up, fix yourself. up yourself. and. Mm -hmm. You know, start to change over back now and start to fix up myself. Mm -hmm. Act up you yourself, know, you know. Start to act up myself back again you now and some, up some of the community get up store up here now, you know. So you turn back. Because the community get up store up, they're not liking you and me, mm -hmm. not at all, you know. Yes. So... Is me, me I said, wait, it look like say, me never know see I saw it go with me in this community yeah, where people watch me like TV yeah. and study me like them Bible. Yeah. So it reached to a point where them start get serious with it now, still them start come to me. Yeah. I remember me and me 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 me, me neighbor um Nearly in a dispute over it, and me I say, Amir, she said to me, and me I say, Oh, so even you have a problem too, mm -hmm. you know? And me say, You know what? They must go get used to it, you know? Because I'm modern time now, and the church where me I go, pastor say, Listen to me, me no want to come in here look like no, no piece of old cloth, you know? Mm -hmm. Me want to fix up on yourself, me no so no fi come in here naked. But fix up on herself. And when me look at my pastor, she well cleaner at you know. Mm. So me say, look at my pastor. Mm. Eh, I'm a young gunner, so me I fix up myself. Yeah. So me start by but me look at soap and start wash my face now and cool up my face and <laughs> right through. Yeah, right through <laughs> my daughter start saying. So I look nice here, come give me and me start to fix up myself and something. Anyway, you know, Ozzy see transition now and Ozzy start get feel away way and now and I, and I say, wait, oh, you get so hot and, you know? Mm -hmm. Me I say, Ozzy, I transition. <laughs> you know, if you feel no way, you know, nothing not go happen, it's just a transition. Mm -hmm. More time me start put on me look sexy ties them walk around it in my house and and so your husband is yeah. supposed to sexy them time them used to in a big skirt you know me never me never me never re, I realized say I saw I saw me did a clue up even from my husband mm. yeah as me I go sleep me I sleep in her clothes mm. sometimes Talk I say stick up with me no man mm. yeah so me start to start wearing me look sexy lingerie and no one, you know? Yeah, cause remember Pastor Edicate, we are now in us, yeah, man. Mm -hmm. Yeah, cause she a woman in us, so 
she give me in the man, you know, mm -hmm. how to nice up herself inside. So I start nice up myself now. Mm -hmm. Pass us in a man, I look sexy. I'm about to ride at them, <laughs> yeah. you know. Yeah, man. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I start fix up myself nice all in my house now. And, you know, I say, Ozzy, yeah, 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 for day or so, you know. Yes. Yeah, they are over here, so things are me, I know. <laughs> right over here, so things are me, because I notice one time, you need to a look with me in a big skirt, them, you know. Yes. So now when me I put on my clothes, I go, no. In yeah, you know? Yes. Yeah. Did they know? So me I say, okay. Mm -hmm. So me I tell you now, minister say, mm -hmm. to all the ladies, them, you know, yes. say, I don't say no. Come on. Me go take a note on a long skirt and something. But listen me. It's the art. It not change nothing. The first time when me go, when me go see Minister Sheena. <laughs> me, me say, them time baby the people them have trouble and me have this little stress within myself I say. I wonder if I go back to home, I did look and you know, I like why people they must say and something and so forth. And I scroll up on my phone and me scroll up on my phone and some and me and me catch her and um, uh, um, deliver one message and me stop and me listen her and me say, you know, one woman I got this and me say, look on her eyebrow. They know how we people, they have great excitement for me now. I look at this woman, I got here. Look how this woman is pretty. I <laughs> me, 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 me forget all the message where she has preached. You now we know, and I me, me start to look at the woman. Oh, the woman pretty, you know. <laughs> and I said, Jesus, I'm people, you know, say people wicked. I said, look at all oh, this woman here, and this woman here. A word them was she a leg or me can't feel you at 19. And me say, no man, me have to go watch the woman here. And me start, me start to watch her when she just a come on, um, on Facebook. Me start to watch her and me, um, it was my daughter Chantel tell me, say, she, I feel watch her. I say, no man, I know her man. A pretty lady I talk and she say, yeah. I say, yeah, I say, look how she, look how she pretty. I say, me no half looks to one people. Me just a youth one look of soap. Uh, try to get off the bump them and them are create excitement. I say, me want pretty like the lady they too. And I tell you, you know, sister, um, she, you know, me start want pretty like you too, you know? <laughs> yeah. Me admire you, man, and me oh, say, man, I and me say, if the, the, the girl is powerful, so, and she can really pretty, me say, you know, nothing to do with it, it's just what God placed inside of you. Amen. You understand? Amen. And ministering to people the same way and everything I have you, and 90, God not take it away from you. But, woman, oh, God, if you look a certain way, ministering to people, people will start questioning your God. Oh, you are serve God, now you look so, so, oh, so God now do nothing for you. So, I believe we ought to look good as Christians, so put ourselves together modestly. I mean, I got dressed naked, I mean, but I got always pretty. I would not have the husband mm -hmm. yet, me, I press me. God knows to wake up and say, Well, it's pretty, you're pretty, that's the year. What's yeah. going on? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Me, do, me, me like to put myself together and I just my personality differently because even when me the out in the world, me the act like 10 for your side. So yeah. me come now, me act for Jesus, Jesus. me now all yeah. I call. No. Yeah. So woman of God, me love this story. I'm glad to you get back in yourself. You can yeah. deliver your word, you can do your thing, but still know if you put yourself together yeah. modestly. You know some woman I look for you and I say, woman of God, you really talk the things that I make me I looking at myself. Talk to them. Give me two minutes of talking to yeah. them as we close. Yeah, um, I can encourage you. Being in, in a marriage, you know, you know, you know, perfect, mm -hmm. you know, perfect. We, 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 we going through it. We going through it, both me and my husband. But we holding on. We holding on. I can encourage somebody, cause after when me get see every devil, attack my husband. He attack me, you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I remember him him coming. I house with a machete. Mm -hmm. He chop me up. 
But when me hold him with the anointing, yes, when me grip him with the anointing, yes, me could feel him body just a melt with the cutlass. Yes. And him drop it and him start to cry and me start to cry. There are a lot more yes. attack will come. Mm -hmm. But when you is a woman of God, we love to pray. Yes, come on. Because there's a certain time every time every night at three o'clock, as me hear a minister say, anytime Anytime a person see them, I forget up between three and five. You are chosen by God. Yes. And I'm even, and even do now, I may have got to a valley situation, but God never leave me. Amen. I still get up three every night and pray. Mm -hmm. Amen. But in the valley, he restored, restored it, your yes. soul. Oh, hallelujah. And the men know, say, it's just a process, this. Yes. To take me higher and to take me deeper. Mm. So I'm encouraging yes. child of God out there, never cease praying. Yes. Use up your prayer language. Mm. Use up your prayer. Yes. Prayer is the key. Amen. Amen. It's the connection with God. Mm -hmm. The only connection you can have with God is through prayer. Amen. I remember one when once when me could not pray, mm -hmm. but that's when the prayer that me tore up yes. has been active those times. Yes, glory to God, glory to God. So I'm encouraging you store up your prayer, even when you feel like you, you can't pray, yes. and you feel like. Cause my sister was saying last night that sometimes she not feel like to pray. Mm. Me say that's the time you feel pray. pray. Amen. When 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 you feel like you not you not feel like for pray, that's the time when you feel mm -hmm. pray. So I'm encouraging someone. Mm. Pray. Amen. Woman of God, I thank you so much for coming and joining. Are you so pretty? I yeah. 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 Pretty like money, power gang. Big up the woman of God, evangelist, minister, Yvette Francis. Thank you so much. Power gang, God bless you. Stay tuned. Lots more to come. She na power talk. Hey, Power Gang, remember to get your book on Amazon today, today, today. No other day but today. You can get it in Kindle form and you can get it in paperback form. And if you are in Jamaica and you want a copy of this amazing book, The Crown and the Cross, listen to me. Call me at 1 876 429 6004. Listen, Power Gang, you must have one of these books. Come on now. Crown and the cross. Hey beauties and cuties, thank you so much for being a part of Sheena Power Talk in Youth Link. I trust that your soul is edified, Satan is terrified, and God is glorified. If you want to be a part of this amazing move, this divine move, you can always call me or contact me on any social media handles. Don't keep that story to yourself. Let it out. Let yourself be free and free somebody else. Share your story today on Sheena Power Gang. Listen to me, Power Team. Power Gang, we are cause an eruption in the earth. We are called for revival and God has set the nigga and broke out in our life. In Jesus name let it be well. God bless you and please remember if you do want to sow, if you do want to help this ministry monetary, you can always contact me. You can always get me through cash up or other different means like Western Union, MoneyGram, anything and any way you want to sow and make an offering to what God is doing i would really appreciate it there are things that we need as we develop and we trust that you will be generous to us as the lord will lead you thank you so much for making it sheena power gang you don't know how big things are going to sheena power gang and power gang gonna lead god bless you god keep you